Welcome to the first session of Schweitzer's Parent Like a Pro. Kind of the thesis I'd like to use for this overall class, and we'll see what Jane and Colette say about that, is uh, parents are stewards of the children God puts in their home. In essence, if I am a parent, I am raising God's child in my home, and that means I am answerable to Him for how I raise that child. Notice I didn't say that I am answerable to Him for how that child turns out. There's a difference, a subtle difference. Perhaps I can show it easiest with this little chart. Notice that the chart is divided into two, process and outcome. So let's just define success as doing things in a way that pleases God. If you will, uh, the thing, doing things in a way that matters from an eternal perspective and doing them well. And failure is just the opposite. Failure is um, doing things in a way that is displeasing to God, harmful to self for an eternal perspective. So notice, if a parent is successful in the process, they do everything right in raising their children. They, uh, they do it the way that God wants them to do it. You know, there's still the possibility that their children will turn out to fail in the way that they live their life because children have free will. Hey, Adam and Eve had a perfect parent and look how they turned out, right? Uh, there's another option. You could have success in the way that you raise your children. You know, God would be very pleased with that. And your children turn out to live a, a life that is pleasing to the Lord and, and healthy from an eternal perspective. Yay! That's, that's the best situation. Well, there's also an option of, I can fail in the way that I train God's children who are in my house. Um, and they turn out to live as failures in life, you know, uh, from an eternal perspective. They, they just live unhealthy for the rest of their life. There's also the option that I fail and the children succeed because again, they have free will. They have the option to choose. And we all know stories of each of these things. What I want you to know is we are responsible before God to do this kind of a process regardless of how our children turn out. You know, there's a lot of gray area in that chart between failure and success. And I want to give us some hope here. Um, the parenting relationship is such that we uh, are creating a framework through which our children will be able to uh, conceptualize, perceive, maybe even connect with God. And what the child sees as the mommy, daddy, and me relationship, the adult will see eventually as their uh, framework for understanding God. Um, now that can be kind of scary. So I, I want to point out two things that we have that are in our favor, and they're both relationship oriented. Um, the, we can be mediocre in our jobs, we could fail at our jobs, we could um, be mediocre in education, have a really tiny house, um, really be terrible at, at uh, housework, but if we are at least mediocre in relationship, we provide a platform from which a, an adult child of ours can have a really wonderful, solid relationship with God. And that is cause for uh, celebration. And um, the second relationship is our relationship with the Holy Spirit. We always have access um, to God and His ideas of what we should be doing with our children because we have the Holy Spirit. And um, being open to tapping into what He wants for us and what He wants us to do with our children, because He loves them more than we do, um, is a great uh, boon and wonderful, act, wonderful uh, resource for us as parents. I really don't have anything to add to what David and Colette said, except to reinforce that it is a relationship between you as a parent and God and the Holy Spirit, and you building a relationship with your children so that they can have that relationship as well. It is a constant growing for all everyone involved.